Hello friends, welcome back. I have an opinion on everything, you already know that by now. And uh, my opinion today is going to be about the 2020 presidential elections in United States and uh, how it's going to be a big dilemma for the non-resident Indian. So to begin with, let us just have a quick primer for the uninitiated about uh, the conservatives and the Democrats and uh, what are their uh, philosophies when it, uh, as it pertains to United States. So the conservatives uh, have a ethos uh, more similar to what most Indians have. Like when we grow up, we grow up expecting nothing from the government. We, we know that if we don't work, we don't get the bread and we have to take care of ourselves. We have to be responsible for our own well-being. So that's the same approach that the conservatives have in the U.S. So under a conservative um, regime or dispensation, what's going to happen is that the government will uh, cut taxes for the corporations so that the corporations can be unfettered and they can go ahead and create jobs, uh, make profits. And um, at the same time, uh, the government has a good uh, handle on the budgets because conservatives are basically um, anti-deficit. They like to balance the books and um, as a result, because they're collecting less taxes, they spend less. So they don't believe that uh, it's the responsibility of the government to give uh, a social security net or health care or things like that. So those things will, um, will fall by the wayside if it comes to a conservative dispensation. Now if you look at the Democrats, on the other hand, the Democrats believe that the government has to make sure that everybody is taken care of. So under a democratic uh, dispensation, what, you, what you're going to have is uh, expanded health care, uh, expanded social sec uh, security net, and probably um, uh, subsidized education or maybe free education. Um, we have to see how far um, it's going to go left uh, in this 2020 election. Uh, but basically, what's going to happen is that there will be a lot of uh, goodies for the citizenry. And um, who's going to pay for that? Uh, the corporations and the high net worth individuals will be taxed higher. And uh, that's going to pay for it. So I'm not taking the sides of either conservatives or uh, democrats. It's, I mean, these are two distinct philosophies. Uh, the two-party system in the U.S. Uh, has these two distinct philosophies competing with each other uh, in order to take the country forward. So, under a democratic dispensation, there is also emphasis on racial uh, equality, uh, a bit of emphasis on the environment, and focus on science-based uh, approach to environment. So, these are all the things that you can probably expect from a democratic dispensation, regardless of who becomes the uh, president in 2020. So, having said that, if you, uh, if you step back and look at what's happening in India and across the globe, um, because of this sudden vacuum in U.S. leadership uh, in, in the global stage uh, during this regime of Trump, what has happened is that uh, various countries have taken the opportunity to set everything right, which they couldn't do before because of the U.S. interference. Um, so an example is that Russia has got uh, Crimea under its belt. Um, in India, we have uh, taken care of Article 370. And uh, probably Israel might also consolidate some territory and... Um, other countries may do similar things because right now the focus is not at all uh, outside. Even within U.S. there is probably very less focus on government because every other day there is a scandal waking up and there is an inquiry going on and there is subpoena and all that um, drama is taking place. And on top of this we also have the global slowdown um, because of the previous financial crisis and the quantitative easing and the you know, the so-called uh, soft landing from QE uh, has not happened. So all those things are also there to uh, contend with. And we have the election interference issues and the 2020 election to come around. So coming back to the NRI in the United States, they have a very, very big, difficult decision to make. On one hand, if they vote for the Democrats, they might end up getting uh, great health care for their parents and for their children, uh, and that could keep more money in their pockets. Um, they would also have contributed a bit to you know, handling the environmental crisis, uh, the climate change crisis. So that's, that's the positives. But the negative would be that 
the moment a democratic uh, regime takes over in the US, it will be back to the old playbook of um, finding faults with India, which is one of the greatest multicultural democracies and has a very long history of being a stable um, and responsible nation. Um, we're going to go back into that same situation where other countries are going to be supported against uh, uh, Indian interest, especially when it comes to the India-Pakistan equation. And that's not a very good thing for India. So the NRI has to look at both these aspects. And suppose the NRI decides to vote for uh, the conservative and bring back Trump again. Uh, there's a good chance that it will be great for India because as far as uh, the world um, is concerned, most of the countries have already discovered that if you're on the good books of Trump, you can do anything and he will support you or turn to look the other way. So um, that's the benefit for I India if the American NRA decides to put his lot with Trump. But on the other hand, uh, there will be severe cuts uh, to social security net and uh, there could also be uh, curbs to uh, immigration for your parents. Uh, uh, and um, when it comes to racial equality and um, a sense of security. Um, it seems, based on the past two years record, that uh, it's only going to deteriorate as far as the American uh, NRI is concerned. So this is the kind of uh, conundrum in which uh, American NRI finds themselves right now. So in 2020, whether or not the American NRI can influence the election one way or the other, they're going to have to live with the consequences of uh, the election. So, I would like to uh, end this segment here and um, ask you to send your comments to me and um, well, let's have a healthy discussion, uh, especially NRIs who are in the US and, um, and also Indians back home. Uh, give us your opinion on uh, you know, what you think should be the next steps for, for an NRI in this situation. Thanks, and until next uh, episode, um, bye for now. See you.